the next series of our vairagya classes will be regarding some of the issues and important sessions which take into account the ethics and moralities so paper 4 ethics is one of the marks gaining and scoring paper for this we will study all this perspective what are the issues and what are the questions practical notes and what are the ethical challenges occur during the bureaucratic services we will also discuss some of the case studies in ethics which can be intended to seen in your upcoming mains examination so let's begin over here what is ethics friends so ethics is regarded to be one of the basic component of human behavior you see behavior or action or activity what you take in your college in your office in your house even they are considered to be under certain norms and etiquette so in a manner you have to decide in which way you have to behave in which way you have to decide some course of action and inside which there are certain moralities so let us first see what are morals so morals are derived from mores which means custom or habit morality is individual sum it is decided by your personal choice of thought and action for example if you are sitting in a room alone then what do you think whether you choose to study a book or you choose to play pubg so your moral science as a student become a keen to study book that become a part of moral conscience and that help you to choose the right path of action okay of action in your day to day life so therefore it helps you to go to have virtuous decision it is guided by virtues which you learn through your schooling so let us see that ethics is little bit different from morality ethics is generally a set of principles and standards used by individual institution profession or society in general okay so ethics is generally taken as a part of society in which you are guiding your thought behavior actions which is determining the goodness and badness wrongness or rightness of your behavior or conduct in your office with colleagues how you abide your principles of office how you take decision how you keep it professional so that is called as ethics and ethics is essential about making the right choices and decision in your day to day life ethics is both positive and negative it enjoys virtues of honesty integrity compassion loyalty beneficence and the same time it imposes reasonable restrictions to refrain the malfeasance such as stealing lying slander etc so keep these key words in your mind when you are going to write your mains that honesty imandari integrity in terms of how integral you are towards the office service how compassionate how calm poised you are towards the decision making how loyal you are towards your office and how much beneficence you make for the office these are the 
keywords for your ethics keep it in your note copy keep it a reserved list of such keywords so let us distinguish between ethics and morals so originally greek word ethos meaning character ethics is determining the character of a person how he behaves in certain pressure on the other hand morals means custom or habit and what they are ethics are set of principles and standards to be guide thoughts behavior and actions on the other hand morals are the values ideas beliefs which are used to determine the goodness badness rightness wrongness of thought behavior and action at what level they exist society ethics exist in the social panorama when you are dealing with society but morals with individual in his mind so it is a psychological concept okay but ethics is a sociological concept it exists when you have social interaction with other fellows so it is social system externally and in morals it is individual which is internal to the individual mindset because we believe that something being right or wrong according to circumstances produced before you hmm? but in society ethics is believed to be right thing or wrong when society consider it for example in just a, a decade ago lgbt marriage was considered to be illegal but now laws has been formulated to make it legalization of this kind of marriages morals are intuitive and subjective varies from individual to individual lesser acceptability it means that these morals are intuitive and subjective so it is thought in the intuition of person who is having certain cognitive aspect in his mind it depends upon intellectuality so it is subjective in nature but the ethics are the principles and standards are supposed by consistent and well founded reasons that means it depends on the rationality and acceptability of society so ethics are variable from one society to the other keep it in mind hence general and universally accepted principles of ethics are present okay now let us consider the next important value that is one of the important keyword and quality of individual so value refer to a set of enduring beliefs attitudes preferences of an community institution and society so you see some decisions or judgments are passed by the courts that are connected with certain values actually ethics was earlier subject of judiciary but after 2012 government of india realized that there is much corruption in bureaucracy and morality is declining so it imparted ethics as a subject to learn moral values and keep it in mind during your service delivery so value is what in the community institution society attached worth to give significant to values can be good or bad so values comes out of virtues if you have virtues then you are a valuable person so they are also personal specific community institution and society specific and values serve as a standard by which a community institution society determines if a particular thing object idea policy is good bad desirable and desirable worthy or unworthy so now let us see some difference between ethics and values i hope you are understanding 
that values are beliefs and preferences of a community or society which is preferred which is taken at the peak of considering any decision making or taking any act activity the values are considered first okay so values can be personal or social also but ethics are the guidelines and standards for conduct of individual institution and society these are basically the conduction norms under which an individual should behave with the other social member ethic is a system of moral principles which help in making the right choices it also helps in making the correct choices but when you see the values values are stimuli for our thinking that defines our priorities in which uh, hierarchy there should be a behavior or an attitude on the personal and public ground so this is called as values of the individual for example if you are going to a temple with your family you will first hand wash your hand then take off your shoes and you will have some prasadam some fruits or some leaves some sandal candle or any dhoop navidyam then you will enter the temple to worship similarly when you are going to office you will wear official dress you will have a pen you will have adequate dress code and you will be enter in the time so this is called as the rationality and objectivity of ethics value is subjective and differs from community to community one community is providing one value but other community is having another value and it varies from society to society also so values are inconsistent and variable similarly ethics are also but uh, somehow ethics are sometime consistent rational and objective in nature keep it in mind while taking any decision or writing any answers so let us think of another part that what are the things these are some of the questions which are also often asked in your examination ethics constrain while values motivate comment or it can be critically analyzed so how ethics are constraining in nature why because it are this put norms over individual which he should follow in going to a professional place or a social interaction but values makes a individual a good person it adds qualities okay ethics is systematic examination justification critical analysis of moral and values discuss how ethics are systematic examination because ethics is systematic observation of a personal character of a personality by ethics a person realizes another person's character his values his norms his biases and his behavior toward the larger end so it varies from deontology to teleology hmm so ethics was invented in terms of aristotle as nicomachean ethics or nicomachean ethics 
For example, we see individual, institution, societal, deontological ethics, utilitarian ethics and virtue ethics which makes person to work on certain virtues. Now, another part of ethics is fallacies in ethical reasoning. Let us see some important things which are fallacies in ethical reasoning moral conventionalism, ethical and cultural conventions and norms. One commit this fallacy if one suggests that acceptance by the society is the benchmark to judge the morality of any action or practice. For example, you are judging Juvenile Justice Act or you are judging Maternity Benefit Act. So juveniles are creating crime, going to school, they are engaged in deviant activities, they are creating offenses and somehow this become a criminal activity. So the intent matters under which a person is creating crime. So intention and motive are the true factors under which a person is judged on his basis of work done by him. For example, Historically, slavery, apartheid, racial discrimination and western context, sati and untouchability in India, current example, gender discrimination which we see, male versus female in office also, Iran, Saudi Arabia, women not allowed to drive, women have to wear hijab or burqa in many such countries, Right to vote in many European countries are not provided to women but somehow in 1971 in Switzerland Gadi Mai festival and sacrifices festival in Nepal Khap Panchayat have social acceptance also totalitarian regimes such as Russia, China people do not have civil liberties these are part of against the moral convention or against the ethics of larger society where restrictions on freedom of speech and expression even over the corruption is there so there are social sanctions so how ethics and religions are coherent now let us see that many people are not religious but ethics apply to everyone irreligious people also have to follow certain norms when they enter public place or some festival is going on hmm. keep it in mind that ethics is larger part of society society put it over the individual and he has to abide by it okay so let us see some other part that this relationship between ethical laws with their examples something can be ethical but it cannot be illegal guideline to protect good samaritan good samaritan needed to be protected who are good samaritan friends good samaritan are those people who help accidental people to bring them to hospital who help rape victims so people who are helping the other people in the bad situation are good Samaritans they are also RTI activists who are threatened who are attacked so they need to be protected is ethical and legal also what is ethical but illegal section 377 civil disobedience during the freedom struggle was illegal but it is ethical as it was the need of the society to get India's independence hmm? which is most needed India's independence section 124a of IPC that shows seditious activity under which Kanhiyaji was booked JNU leader Section 66A of IT Act which prohibits writing anything against state or government which is in power. 
so these are unethical and legal because larger part of society do not want such kind of activities against the ruling government the next part is unethical and illegal laws against crimes violence section 307 hmm? section 125 ipc crpc so keep it in mind that some laws can be legal and some thing can be unethical also at the same time we also see the part that slippery slope argument which has action in morally impermissible because it is not morally objectivable per se but it can lead to serious actions consequences that are morally objectionable no empirical basis to prove that future course of events are inevitable for example sex education is allowed in a school you have to learn about how sexual promiscuity is being done and teacher has to be very cautious about providing such education in a school cautious about genitals and cautious about sexual activities hmm? so also in case of euthanasia which is taken by Jain Muni or Santhara involves self killing somehow say circumstances of motivated murder some saints are being raised to kill themselves and also example is red hearing diverting attention from main issue student getting caught in cheating or blaming his parents for the same so these are part of ethical fallacies what is the importance of ethics why do we need ethics at all let us think so individual level we see ethics is guiding individual to be a good citizen so it is a part of intrinsic level or raising the individual to be a good citizen to be good officer to raise good officers is also mandatory for the society for fulfilling good future of life and being ethical is part of what defines us as human being we are rational thinking choosing creatures we have the capacity to make conscious choices every rational human being has a reason to cultivate virtues and develop a strong moral character self realization and self actualization are also part of individual hierarchy so let us see maslow's needs hierarchy abraham maslow somehow gave his theory of the social needs and how these are categorized at different levels so he categorized it into five different parts at which first level is social needs safety security after that there is need of establishment or job then third needs is intellectual need have good books medicines and such facilities then there is self sufficiency with the wife or family love care then self actualization at the highest level which makes the moral parameters of individual to live his life being a good person so it considering why i should be ethical i should take a long term view of myself in what i should be seeking the answer of the question what i should do in light developing the habit of taking bribes for example will corrupt my very being and rob me of my mental peace who is saying aristotle you can quote this thing in your mains answer writing keep a notes of it and these are providing 
instrumental values also so knowledge of ethics helps in resolving ethical dilemmas right versus wrong in what way you have to decide what should be going correct or not for example when you are sitting in a district office you are sdm of your office then you have to decide in flood situation how to use the fund or provide freebies to the old ladies in such cases ethics help you to take the decision to be strong and be justified at your decision making scenario so ethics helps you at the societal level by forming a natural tendency of any society towards entropy ethics needed to move towards negative entropy ethics is a social dimension and forms a very basis of human society man is inherently a selfish creature but he chooses to follow or at least pretends to follow ethical behavior because he sees many advantages of living in society so do not do unto others what you should not like others to do you so you see in tribal society drinking is a good habit but for states such as bihar you see drinking is illegal what it says that drinking is a injurious to health and if one father of a family is drinking that entire family will be economically deprived and the progress will be suffering in this way it becomes a part of life so societies need to think what laws to be formulated to rise and fall due to ethical and unethical behavior either the leaders or the commoners for example we see roman empires moguls arab spring seize of japan these are all great examples to be kept in mind while writing the ethics answer without ethics society would be reduced to the type of animal behavior that sees in the nature hunt kill feed formicate like lion the powerful people will eat the lower people who are less in power there should be hegemony so ethics is needed for a rational and disciplined society so in contemporary time ethics needed to achieving the objective of inclusive sustainable development what are sustainable development by which human needs are fulfilled and nature is also kept protected that are sustainable development and heed to ethical behavior on part of citizen public servant or fighting social evils keep it in mind that is larger part of ethical education hmm so special need for ethics in public life therefore reasonable so what are dimensions in ethics let us see what is meta ethics so it is a branch of ethics that deals with the philosophical questions what philosophers have provided what socrates is saying know thyself summon bomom hmm what plato is saying why he is arguing for a philosopher king what aristotle is saying what kant is saying hmm in this way different philosophers are providing ethical guideline of line what is good what is bad what is right wrong ethical absolutism and ethical skepticism these all things are provided in the meta ethics you see what is happiness for one who is drinking or smoking or who is partying at the night late night party so party doing in night many people elderly are sleeping 
and they will feel pain so some pleasure is someone's pain and it is unethical again patriotism which makes sacrifice for the country and be ready for it for its flag india's anthem and respect everything belonging to the nation it is again valuable thing which is keep in mind some questions based on this can be seen you see some questions now we should see some important questions because mostly ethical paper needs some substantiable answers to be learned and to be solved what is difference between patriotism and nationalism now you can stress upon how you follow the virtues of patriotism how you see value in the flag because it is connected with the soil national flag is a symbol of tricolors which have certain meaning attached to the tricolor chakra itself glorifies and constantly uh, developing towards progress and success so it adds your value in your patriotic sense and nationalism is again having value for your nation hmm? all the national rivers territories people living in your nation all comes inside it what do you understand by nationalism and regionalism now regionalism become a challenge because it leads to struggle of existence when people migrate from say bihar to mumbai they have to face tremendous challenge of getting a job getting a shelter and they are threatened of their life due to their migration and regional issues so some people belong to same region help them to grow but some other people don't help so another part of question do you think both are in conflict with each other do you th- think that nationalism is in conflict with regionalism you can write it that how uh, regionalism is treating the nationalism as a value because people are biased on regional guidelines in northern people or eastern people people are also biased towards the north eastern grounds and also south india so in this way many issues come around when you see the challenges between nationalism and regionalism there is also challenges with ethical relativism ethical absolutism that is universalism and ethical realism which we will see at ethical real relativism moral relativism and cultural relativism when it is happening and morality is considered relativity with the morality so ethical relativism holds that no universal or absolute ethical standard which apply to the culture blind man and the elephant an ekantvad sophist in 5th century bc believed that the person who is touching an elephant is knowing that it has a different animal for example anyone who is holding the elephant from tongue will see that that is a tree anyone who is holding the leg of the elephant will say that it is a bamboo hmm? so elephant has different perspective okay 
so any dimension or any concept has various perspective for example Nietzsche says nothing is true all is allowed also Marcus Aurelius says that whatever we see in the perspective not the reality whatever we hear is an opinion not the fact which means that whatever you see through your eyes is a perspective government is corrupt evidence is present but the reality is it is a conspiracy or it may be certain other opinion so most philosophers reject the ethical relativism while admitting the moral practice differently marked by the other culture we also see that united nations human rights council international covenant of civil and protection rights international covenant on social economic and cultural right is also considering the part of relativism in the ethical manners despite all we know that different culture within our society there exist far more unanimity about what values must be upheld that might at first appear we want to be able to live in a society with shared values within common dislikes of violence injustice decide in public life in short with a notion of common good so whatever happening in the society is acceptable if it is a common good principle what is common good which is good for majority is considered to be common good for example killing gandhi ji was justified by some people but killing indira gandhi inside violence so there are certain challenges ethical and moral accountability ethical skepticism let us see what are these thing first view is that human being are incapable of following ethical moral and view support by the psychological egoism now what is this psychological egoism is a factor in which human beings are innately selfish they are egoistic and selfish towards their own intention motive and their goal but altruism is an illusion ostensible good deeds have hidden selfish motives human beings try to maximize their self interest utility thinkers such as tom hobbs smith mandeville are proponents of this actually it is machiavelli so machiavelli is also proposing the selfish individual which you will learn that machiavelli was criticized in longer term adam smith says that laissez faire economy should be there and individuals should seek its surplus by exploiting the resources hobbs is also saying the individual to have greatest good for himself and the second view says that although human being is capable of being ethical it is difficult to pursue moral goals due to the following reasons although human being is capable of being ethical but he cannot become ethical why he goes to corruption because ethical relativism he is knowing that no universal objective have ethical standard it has two components moral relativism that is moral judgment which differs from individual to individual right and wrong in matter of public opinion and cultural relativism which is different in different societies so ethical relativism is again a fallacy some laws are justified and some parts and this law become illegal or unethical at some level the next region is determinism and free will so human being are not autonomous free agents they do not have free will decision and actions of humans determined by external forces hence they cannot be held accountable for their actions this view is really vague you can see so accountability will be determined by the action only 
and if one is doing certain moral activity or rightness wrongness of any action is determined by three elements existence of free will or voluntary involuntary nature of action doing something when one is being black billed the purpose of action tent means ria lying inside the moral agent of person who is doing certain action under certain intention or motive keep it in mind now next part we see that normative ethics are there also so it is a branch of ethical philosophy that examines how one should act how individual should behave somewhere and it investigates the standards and principles of accessing the rightness wrongness goodness badness of actions normative ethics different ethical theories and principles that help us to assess the goodness badness or rightness or wrongness of thoughts behavior actions they guide us to make right decisions in case of ethical dilemma and these are necessary nor sufficient for ethical conduct knowledge of normative ethics is also necessary but somehow knowledge of normative ethics facilitate the process of ethical and moral reasoning to take a decision in official capacity okay so therefore normative ethics is very important what is ethical and moral reasoning ethical moral reasoning is the process by which an individual tries to do right things when being faced by an ethical dilemma when individual is facing ethical dilemma which path to choose where to go which is correct hmm so choose the right decision it helps in the moral reasoning and what is good for the greater benefit or greater good of people so it has four components the moral sensitivity which is the ability to see the ethical dilemma the moral judgments which is the ability to reason correctly and about what ought to be done in the specific situation use of normative ethical theories is important then moral choices choosing the best option and accepting the moral responsibility for the outcome so acceptance of moral responsibility for whatever outcome is to be generated out of your action is the moral choice last is moral character courage persistence in spite of temptation to take the easy way out difference between knowledge and wisdom in mahabharata durodhana tells krishna i know dharma but it falls to inspire me i know dharma but it fails to withdraw from it it means he says in sanskritam gyanami dharma nachame pravrittah gyanam ya dharma nachame nivrittah it means i cannot restrain from the evils even i know what consequences it will fetch to me so there is separate branch of consequentialism to study the ethics what are prima facie principles in ethical dilemmas you will see that sir bahut tej padha rahe hain but you have to cover this syllabus you have to go faster so prima facie principles is that the obligations which are universal acceptance values and virtues and principles of moral agents under the normal circumstances these principles should generate followed by all morals so these are the prima facie principles such as constitution of india to be followed by each and every 
person who is walking on the road living somewhere in India okay so this is a prima facie principle now next thing is agent under normal circumstances unless there is concrete and convincing justification for not adhering the same honesty truthfulness non-violence beneficence non-maleficence ethical dilemma occurs in conflict between prima facie principle right versus wrong so how to solve ethical dilemma why moral ethical intuition using normative ethical theories now let us consider one of ethical dilemma that girls after 16 years should get married now if a girl want education then she go to college pursue higher degrees get job be economic economically independent to bear the cost of marriage on the other hand if she get married then cost of family or wedding is very high she have to borrow some loan families in trouble so this kind of moral things are kept in mind while making such decisions and guiding the moral principles of the agenda now what are normative and ethical theories now let us keep the video this short thank you and i hope that you people are doing well See you in the next class of ethics. Do solve questions and make notes. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.